With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So our question is: Let the angle between the two non-zero vectors a and b is 120 degrees Celsius, and its resultant is c. Okay. So we have been given um, two non-zero vectors. Let us suppose this is a vector. This is B vector having angle between them is 120 degree and this is the resultant vector C vector. Okay, so this is B vector, this is A vector and this is our C vector which is the resultant of A and B. So what we can say is C vector is A vector plus B vector. Correct. The angle between the A vector and B vector is given as 120 degree. Correct. Now from here what we see is we have three vectors a, b and c. So what we can write is magnitude of a vector plus magnitude of b vector whole square will be equals to a vector magnitude square plus b vector magnitude square plus 2 times a vector dot b vector. Let us suppose it has equation number 1. Okay. Now what we can also write is a vector minus b vector whole square will be equals to a vector whole square plus b vector whole square minus of 2 times a vector dot b vector. Let us suppose it as equation number 2. Now subtracting 1 from 2, subtracting 1 from 2 what we will get is we will get mod of a vector plus b vector whole square minus of mod of a vector minus b vector whole square will equals to 4 times a vector dot b vector correct now using the resultant property that is what we have that c vector is equals to a vector plus b vector correct now from here what we can say is mod of c vector whole square minus mod of a vector minus b vector whole square will be equals to 4 times a vector dot b vector correct now taking a minus b mod on the right hand side what we get is magnitude of c vector whole square will be equals to mod of a vector minus b vector whole square plus 4 times a vector dot b vector correct now removing this dot product what we get is mod of c vector whole square is equals to mod of a vector minus b vector whole square plus 4 times a vector sorry mod of a vector into b vector so it will be uh, just a second yeah it will be mod of a vector into mod of b vector into cos of theta theta is the angle between a and b and which is given as 120 degree correct now as we know that cos 120 is the negative in the second quadrant as we know that cosine is negative in second quadrant correct so what we can conclude is c must be less than a minus b correct so c must be less than a minus b correct so now choosing from the options here option number two is the correct option okay Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.